Hi, it's Teresa from Dodge Nature Center and time for another Nature to Go. Well, it's the end of summer and that means state fair time. Food on a stick. You hear that from lots of people, an exciting thing to look for at the fair. And out here at the Nature Center, we've had lots of kids who've seen a plant and they're like, is that something you can eat? It looks like a hot dog on a stick. What are they talking about? So what are the kids thinking is food? It's cattails. And while you can't eat the part of the cattail that kind of looks like a hot dog, there actually are other parts of the cattail that you can eat. In the springtime, you can eat the sprouts that are coming up. You pull the plant out of the ground and you need to peel away the outer layers and rinse it clean. But you can either eat it raw or then you can saute it or steam it or blanch it, use it in stir fry. It'll taste sort of like asparagus when it's cooked or a little more like cucumber when you're eating it raw. By late spring, another part of the plant becomes edible and that's the flower. Now there's two flowering parts. The male part is on top, the female is below. This is all happening before pollination takes place. You can collect those green female parts. You can heat them up, boil them in hot water, and serve it with butter and salt and pepper and eat it sort of like corn on the cob. The next thing that's edible on cattail plants is the pollen. So there's a narrow window of time, usually around the end of June, maybe for about a week, when the male part is producing pollen and you can just knock it off into a bag and then that pollen can be used like flour. In a lot of recipes, you can replace about half of the flour with cattail pollen and it gives sort of a nice, sweet, nutty flavor to whatever you happen to be cooking. So it's used a lot in things like pancakes, biscuits. I'm actually interested in trying it in this bread recipe that I found online. We've seen three things so far the shoots as they're coming up in the spring, the female flowers, the pollen, and then the last thing are the roots of the cattail plant. Officially, it's called the rhizome. And you're waiting until the fall to harvest them because that's when they've stored the most starch so they have the most energy. You pull it out, you need to peel away those outer layers, rinse it off. And because it's very fibrous, it's usually used for the starch that's in there. And so it's processed by pounding it, letting it soak in water, and the starch will fall out. And then you can use that starch in things like soups or sauces. So what about the part that looks like the hot dog? Well, it's not edible at all. It's where the seeds are. And as you get into the winter time, those heads will actually dry up and pop open to spread their seeds by the wind. Cattails, you can't eat the cattail part itself, but as Yule Gibbons used to say, many parts of this plant are edible. And start looking online and you'll see that there are lots of recipes for many different ways to prepare the different parts of cattails that you can eat. Well, I hope you enjoy the fair if you're going to the fair. If not, be sure you get out and explore nature Thanks for joining me for this episode of Nature to Go, and we'll talk to you again next time.